Don't adjust your sound settings. We're here. We did it. We're episode 100. And you're listening to, or maybe even watching, Human Factors Cast. You don't want to miss this one, folks. We have giveaways, news, and plenty of other banter to go around. Welcome to Human Factors Cast, your weekly podcast for all things human factors, psychology, and design. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Human Factors Cast. I'm your host, Nick Rome, joined today by Mr. Blake Arnsdorf. We got a lot to talk about today. We're talking about DARPA is pushing for AI to explain what is a mock-up. We'll be, uh, we'll be back with all that. And, and we're breaking it down right after this. Human Factors Cast strives to bring you the best in human factors chatter every week. We pack news, interviews, reviews, and overall fun conversations into each and every product that we put our seal of approval on. But we can't do it without you. You see, the Human Factors Cast Network is 100% listener supported. All the funds that go into running this show come from the listeners. That's why we're giving back to our supporters on Patreon, now more than ever. Pledges start at just $1 per month and include rewards like 24-7 access to our exclusive Human Factors Cast Slack channel, personalized professional reviews, and Human Factors Cast Infinite, a Patreon-only podcast where the topic is human factors, etc. We're always updating our rewards, so stop by patreon.com slash humanfactorscast to see what support level may be right for you. Thank you all, and remember, it depends. Okay, so we're here, we're back. Blake, with all that said, you know what time it is. It's time to get the news. That's right, Blake. This is the part of the show where we talk about human factors news. This is everything related to the field of human factors. This could be anything from medical, transportation, psychology, you name it. All right, Blake, we got two more up this week. What do we got up next? Let's go. Okay, so MIT Media Lab researchers have developed a machine learning model that takes computers a step closer to interpreting our emotions as naturally as humans do. So a challenge in the field of effective computing is that people express emotions quite differently, depending on many factors. While general differences can be seen among cultures, genders, and age groups, other differences are even more fine-grained. The aim is to improve existing effective computing technologies over and above what they are now. So, Nick, this is, this is kind of related to... Okay, that's it for the news stories today. You know what time it is, Blake? Oh, what time is it, Nick? It came from... It came from... That's right, it came from Reddit. This is the part of the show where we search all over Reddit to bring you topics the community is talking about. So any subreddit's fair game, as long as it relates to the field of human factors, it uh, enter that contest. That's it for today, everyone. Let us know what you think of the stories this week. If you're a Patreon supporter, please stay tuned for the after show. We're bringing you some good content tonight. For the rest of you, you can join the discussion on our Slack or follow us all over social. Mind you, if they want to talk about the implications of AI in uh, medicine. <laughs> you guys can always find me at Don't Panic UX across social media, including Twitter and Instagram. As for me, I've been your host, Nick Rome. You can find me across social media at Nick underscore Rome. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in to Human Factors Cast. Until next time, it, it depends! depends.